Hey Ratbags, lots of survival games news. I'm giving you a breakdown of survival shows back for this one-off. All the stuff that went on with the IGN Festival Showcase today, and then I'll take a look at the stuff that you might have missed from yesterday. So kicking off with Outbreak Island. This game's had a bunch of demos on Steam before. It's a survival game set on a mysterious island where you are an investigator and you are going to be documenting and tracking the mysterious things that are happening. Seems to be some sort of mutants or zombies have overridden the island and you are potentially looking for a loved one as you investigate. It's got a lot of elements of, I would say, Outlast, but it's also got base building in it as well. You can see placing new camp stuff, and this has all been revealed today. Devs have been doing a great job showcasing stuff in their blogs over the last six to nine months, and does look like it's a wealth of opportunities to go and explore different biomes, scary laboratories, and maybe a little time to be at one with nature. So no exact release date except quarter three, and I do believe that will be for end of September. So yeah, it could be a September release for this one. Go and check out the demo I've already played it a good few months ago, and I'll keep you up to date with any more news about it. Void Train is a survival game set on train tracks, going through parallel weird dimensions where you basically have to survive, upgrade your train, and keep going through the void. It released on the Epic Games Store last year, and I've got to say it's a pretty decent, unique take on the survival genre. This trailer is showing a whole bunch of stuff that I have not seen before. It's been a while since I've visited the game, so I'm sure this is either in it or it's got a lot of this stuff incoming very soon. But lots of fans that are really stubborn and just like to have all their games on Steam, you'll be pleased to know that it has now got a full release date for you. Well, at least a month, not maybe the day. It's going to be coming out in October 2022 on Steam, and you can well imagine it will still be in early access by then. It looks like they've added a whole wealth of customised options for your train, even more gunpower, firearms and weapons, and unique ways to take on enemies. Again, I cover this on its release. I'll be eager to step back into it and see the improvements that have been made over the coming months. Forever Sky has had a brand new gameplay trailer revealing a whole bunch of stuff. I'm really excited about this one. No release date other than just still 2022, but this is the most detailed glimpse into the world of Forever Sky as we've seen to date. It's set in a post-apocalyptic future where the world has been overtaken by pollution and obviously maybe some pretty dire events. You are tasked with finding maybe cures or ways to inhabit the planet again. Researching new science as well as infecting yourself with diseases to make sure that you can actually return as a human race to the planet properly. It looks like when you do infect yourself, you will be giving yourself some buffs and learning about the planet, the state it's in. And you will be diving deep into that green smog eventually to discover maybe some more monstrous creatures. Maintaining and upgrading your airship is key. It's fully customizable. You can put pods wherever you want and it's looking pretty good coming 2022. Wanderlust is another one that I've been looking forward to. No release date on this one, but it does look like their alpha has been underway for a while now, or it's about to begin proper. And yeah, I'm hoping for some sort of release this year, but more than likely it could be pushed till next. It is a don't starve kind of viewpoint looking down as you gather resources, fight off zombies as well as natural wildlife, and go ahead and base build and upgrade. It's got a cute art style, but with a bit more of blood and gore to it. And as you can see, we'll be defending yourself against hordes of zombies as you go through different biomes, meet NPCs, use your skills to trade, and hopefully get enough firepower to survive. This was successfully kickstarted on Kickstarter, which I am a backer, so I can't wait to hopefully dive in soon. And they have had a bunch of showcases from YouTubers last year. Hasn't had a demo since that point though, so I'm keen hopefully to see something like this added again. Be a good chance to get to play it, otherwise maybe I should try reaching out and show you guys this. Probably on my second channel to be honest, Jcraft, I feel like this game suits that one a little bit more. Colourful, cute and gory, I'm definitely down for this. So something I have already covered on my second channel, JCraft, is Core Keeper, a fantastic kind of survival crafting game, exploring all these dungeons and ruins and underground, multiplayer up to 10 players, bosses to fight. It's a great little game. You should absolutely check it out. They're showing off their Sunken Sea update, and they're going to be doing even more of this in a couple days, hopefully with some more gameplay showing off. No release date for it yet, but I'm hoping soon. Retreat to a Nen is a brand new survival game that just launched its demo. It's free on Steam right now and it's got some pretty cool mechanics in it. It's like a futuristic take where you are obviously thousands of years in the future, but man has had to restart. Now it's all about being at one with the wilderness and meditation. So you will be doing the basic survival stuff, 
bushcraft, gathering resources, building bases, hunting creatures. But in between that, you have to fill up something called your spirit meter. And this is what's going to help you gather some of the more harder to get resources. It sounds a bit mad, but it's actually pretty simple once you start playing it. I've recorded half an hour of footage already, so that'll be going out tomorrow. Let's go and check that out when it launches. But yeah, free demo on Steam. Go and give it a shot. I think it's a pretty cool looking game. It's got lots of atmosphere. I'm definitely going to be trying it out even more. Oh yeah, and they're expecting a release date at some point later on this year. In fact, there may be even an announcement later on today, so I'll cover it again in the recap either tomorrow or on Sunday. So that's the stuff that went on today so far, and yesterday was a big day for Nightingale. Got to see some fantastic gameplay, and I was lucky enough to be given some extra B-roll and some more kind of tips and info about what to expect with the game by inflection. So yes, it's going to be a 6 to 10 player co-op game for now, they're still finalising that, and it's going to be something along the lines of creating your own custom worlds to go and explore, or at least giving hopefully some help in that. You'll make cards based on like tarot cards or playing deck, and then open up these portals based on the mixture of the cards that you've supplied. A mechanic I've never seen in any other type of survival game, I'm loving the idea of this one. Nightingale is going to be my big game of this year, I can really feel it, I'm going to get behind it as much as possible. Obviously first person, it is going to be on PC only, there's absolutely no plans that I've seen anywhere mentioned about console, so maybe one day, but yeah, nothing so far. There's base raiding in it, full free base building as well, you'll be able to create freedom to place walls, ceilings and anything else you want. Living amongst these different realms with all sorts of weather effects, and a whole host of creatures and wildlife to hunt and maybe defend yourself against. I've done a bunch of videos on this already, so go and check them all out, and I've got even more incoming with analysis of the trailer, the B footage, and what happened when I spoke to Inflection. But absolutely, my number one survival game of this year I'm most looking forward to. Okay, so not strictly a survival game, but I covered this years ago, and it's taken literally five years for it to resurface. The developers went awfully quiet over the last two years, but they're back. These are the guys that made the vanishing of Ethan Carter, but now they're working on a super mythological fantasy-based shooter. So no, it's not going to be a survival game, but god damn, I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm loving the look of this, the feel of it, the shooting mechanics, the special abilities, the movement, how important it is. I've kept with development of this game for a long time. It's going to be hitting Epic Games Store, I do believe, in October. It will be early access, so it's going to carry on developing it as it goes further. So as long as they keep adding and implementing more stuff like this, I'm totally going to cover it, even if it's not a full-blown survival game. I am finishing off with some of the other stuff that went on over the last few days. Renown, apparently Medieval Rust, does look like it's going to have a playable demo for you to go and try out very soon in terms of combat. Now, I did an interview with these guys, I think last year, and I spoke about big plans to get basically, yeah, a medieval version of Rust off the ground. I was a little bit skeptical. It has a small team with not much experience, but I'm pleased to see that it's come on leaps and bounds judging by the trailers. Now obviously they're still just trailers, but yeah, it's looking pretty decent. They spoke about how they were working more on arm sets to make it all look unique and custom, and a mix of blend of combat from something like Chivalry or Mordale, but with maybe base raid mechanics like Rust. The combat demo is going to be available on the 13th of this month, so only in a few days, so go and check it out as part of the Steam Festival, that's where you'll be able to find it. And yeah, I'm really rooting for this one now, I feel they've shown a lot of work and improvement over the last few months since I last spoke to them, and it is looking pretty epic. Who doesn't want to play a proper survival base raiding game, but set it with axes, swords and shields? I'll most likely dig deeper with this one and give you another info video very soon, and check out the actual gameplay demo of it. So Fyodor is probably going to have a reveal trailer at the Xbox Bethesda Showcase maybe on Sunday. It's going live exactly the same time as that showcase starts. You'll be able to download the game on Xbox, PlayStation and PC. Of course, it is a free expansion for ARK fans. So I'll be covering it with Raz, my good pal, and we'll be taking a look at all the announcements during the Xbox Bethesda Showcase. We were home to see ARK 2 news, but the devs kind of put a dampener on that now, so we're still really not sure whether or not we will see any info about that one, even though the lead developers did state that they would be giving news soon. But yes, Fjordor is meant to be a Viking homage. It's a mod created map and it's now been made official after a couple years of pretty much work. So it has changed slightly with some biomes and points of interest possibly being different. This isn't the official trailer, it's made by someone who worked with the creator of the mod just to show it off when it released. So yeah, expect big changes, but art fans are going to be super pleased. Another free expansion, another map to lose thousands of hours in. 
Part of that showcase, I'm hopefully expecting grounded news as well, whether it be the 1.0 release date as it's scheduled to come out of early access and full release later on this year, or maybe a glimpse at the next update. It does look like we're in the end game road now. There's been leaks and rumors about an August release date, but I'm still gonna say it's probably gonna be something like October. Grounded's been popping off on my second channel, absolutely even doing better than my main at times, so I can't wait to see what they've got in store. Fantastic survival game, you haven't tried it yet, go and give it a shot. Ignore the cute cartoony graphics at times, it's hard as nails. But yeah, any further news about that, of course, I'll be doing a video straight after the Xbox Bethesda Showcase. And that's about it really, I could maybe talk about State of Decay 3, but as far as I know we'll probably only get another small cinematic trailer for it or a little progress, but it's not expected to come out this year. One game that will be hopefully entering its alpha or beta phases later on this year is Salt 2, the sequel to the cult classic survival game where you get to be a pirate. Not sure they've got actually anything officially going on as part of the Summer Festival of Gaming Reveals, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd chuck it in because it's something to keep on your radar and I am expecting news hopefully in the coming weeks. And it looks like at the end of the month we're going to maybe get Conan Exiles 3.0 update. After nearly a week of teases on social media, they ended up being a bit of a damp squid as they pretty much only revealed another countdown. Basically, you'll find out more information on the 21st of June. There's an outside chance they may be at the PC Gamer Show on Sunday as well after the Xbox Bethesda Showcase, but it looks like they'll be showing off more Metal Singer and maybe a little bit of teasing of June possibly. But yeah, expect new gameplay reveals and exactly what's going on on the 21st. I'm hoping whatever it is, it's enough to draw me back in because it's been a while since I really hit Conan Exiles and I want to love it again, but they definitely haven't really been pulling out all the stops. So hopefully this is going to stop their slide and make Conan Exiles great again. So there you go, let me know what you think about all of them. Which one are you most looking forward to? For me, it is Nightingale. Like, I, I can't stress enough to you guys. I will be dumping all other content on the main as soon as Nightingale comes out. Other than maybe survival shows or the shorts that I've been working on. Like It means that much to me. Maybe Valheim, of course, and the Mistland stuff. I'm really eager to see that. But yeah, Nightingale is the new jam on show. I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. So fingers crossed we'll get more news about that as well. And as soon as you know news about the beta that's meant to be happening soon, I'll let you guys know too. Until next time, Ratbags, laters.